Tesco now up in its game in the craft beer market, it now means that there's great beers easy accessible to all. And as Tesco's motto says, every little helps. And today we have a bottle of Brewdog's new Funk X Punk Brett Fermented IPA coming in at 5.5% ABV. Now, Brewdog are claiming this is their flagship IPA. This is where punk meets funk, i.e. it's a punk IPA that's been jazzed up, ramped up, uh, new things added, and just to basically jazz it up a bit. Um, it's barrel aged for starters and it's dry hopped to oblivion. You know there's seven hops in this beer so you know these experts say we've got to have five a day haven't we? Well us beer drinkers we drink a bottle of this has seven a day in it. Seven hops seven a day. Good for you in my opinion. Um, the hops that are in here. It's an unbelievable list of hops. It's got your Hellertau Blancs, your Hellertau Mittelfrau, your Hull Melon or Whole Melon, depending on how you pronounce it, your Magnum, your Cascade, your Chinook, and your Simcoe Hops. You know, there's a lot of hops in a beer there. Um, I don't know what way around they dry hop it with or anything like that. If they might dry hop it with a whole lot, I don't know. Um, I don't say anything about that, so there we go. So what we do, we're going to crack this open. This is five pound a bottle. It's a half litre bottle. Um, it's in the new Tesco range, in the uh, their craft beer range in Tesco's. Um, one thing you've got to notice though, is the actual bottle top, or the bottle top is bigger than your standard, which is, is quite interesting. Here's a, a normal one and actually it doesn't look it there but when you put um, your bottle opener on it it's not going over halfway it's sort of just it's going like a third and I, I know a few people who have bought this beer actually got their bottle opener and it won't fit on, they can't open the bottle, so there's something to bear in mind if you buy this bottle of beer. Anyway, let's get it in a glass. Look at that, there we go. Well, as you can see, it's a lovely, lovely, you see this is unfiltered, it's a lovely hazy amber orange colour. Um, it's got a lovely two finger white frothy head on there. Um, yeah, look at that, unfiltered, hazy, it's, no, it's going to have all the goodness in there for you. Let's get the aromas. Oh my word. Oh, grapefruits, oranges, clementines. Citrus, you're getting a yeasty smell there. The, 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 the smell of this beer is fantastic, it, you know, it's, it, it's, it smells really, really nice. Um, if only they made car air fresheners that smelt like this. Brewdog, maybe that's what you want to do, is do a, you know, you've got this shop with all your merchandise, right? Maybe start doing car air fresheners. Brewdog car air fresheners. I'll tell you what, I think you could be on a little winner there and uh, 
And uh, thank you very much. I owe a slice of the, of the uh, I only asked for one, one percent, one percent, one percent of your sales. There you go. But no, it's really, really nice smelling. Should we dive in and give it a try? Cheers. Now, from the smell, the taste, very, very complex taste to this. It's smooth on the palate like velvet. In the mouth it feels really, really nice. Um, earthiness to it believe it or not and that's because it's unfiltered I suspect it's it's got some rawness to it which is good it's citrusy grapefruity crisp it's very very light um, very very complex and I keep going back to this complex of the beer um, for for people who drink a lot of craft beer you're gonna get this beer straight away when you drink it you're going to admire um, the way it's been brewed. You're going to admire the haziness, the unfiltered aspect to this beer, the earthiness, um, and appreciate the beer for what it is. Um, you're going to appreciate the complexity of this beer because it's a very, very yeah, it's very, very complex. How there's a lot going on in a mouthful. There's a huge lot going on with this beer. Now it's got everything. It's even got lace in there. Look at the lace on the side of the glass. Um, I can see why they're calling it their flagship. The complexity of this beer. It's like you've got 10 different craft beers lined up in a row and each one has its own little traits and this has got a trait of each in it, if you know what I mean. Um, so a lot of thought going into this. Um, the downside of this beer is a newcomer to craft beer He's going to see that on the shelves, see that nice big bottle, all right? And they've just been just been paid that week or that month, and they want to treat themselves. And they've heard about these new craft beers and people going on about the new craft beers. And they look and they look along and they don't know what to buy, but they see this beer here for a five or a bottle. So they think to themselves, "Well, that must be good because it's a fiver." And I've just been paid, I've got a bit of extra overtime I've done, blah de blah. I'm going to treat myself to a bottle of this. And they will get this bottle and they will take it home. And they will open it up and they will pour it. And they will drink it. And I'll tell you what now, they won't like it. And the reason they won't like it is because it's too advanced for them. If you know what I mean, it's... To a seasoned craft beer drinker, you understand, you, un you understand this beer, the complexity of it. To a newcomer, you're not. You're going to, first of all, a newcomer is going to pour this out and they're going to think it's off for starters because it's not clear. Secondly, they're going to smell this yeastiness and again, they're going to think the beer is off. On the mouthfeel,
they're not going to get the complexity of the sadness, the sweetness. Um, this sort of peaches in there, tropical fruit, um, all the traits of your punk IPA, but it's up a notch. And I can see this beer eventually being discounted in the supermarkets. And it's going to be discounted in the supermarkets, not on a benefit to us, to people like us, because we're going to snap it up when it gets discounted. But it's going to be discounted because it's not going to be a big seller. Um, the Joe Public going to buy a buy a bottle of this and not like it. Um, us that are into craft beers are going to buy a bottle of this, love it. And pray for the day when it's in the when they're discounting it, where we can go and grab ourselves ten bottles at like like three quid or two pound fifty each, and and have a right result and happy days. Um, I like this beer. I like it a lot. It's got it's got the traits of like a, a Belgium Saison, but as you know a Saison is, is one up and that's it, this has got seven in, but because of that unfilteredness and the cloudiness um, and the ABV, it's, it's a similar ABV to a Saison, um, and I do believe it's actually got a Belgium strain of yeast in there, which is a uh, which also helps to sort of sway you to like a, a, a saison, but it's a it, no, it's a it's a seven hopped beer. Um, really, really good. Really, really funky. The name. Well, if you say it quickly, it's a bit worrying because it's cause it's sort of it's a twist there. Whoever thought of that name, um, obviously got a dirty mind at Brewdog because if you say it quickly, funk it spunk. <laughs> It's a funk spunk, you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah. Um, I just hope there's no jizz in it, eh? But um, yeah, brood on jizz. They got employees all jizzing in a tank of beer, like and going, yeah, the Muppets will buy this. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, I better ain't put you off. But no, it's. It's a good craft beer, a good complex craft beer. Um, if you're into your craft beers, you've got to buy a bottle. You've got to bite your lip, buy a bottle, fibre. Um, give it a try. It's in Tesco's. Give it a try. Leave a comment below. Um, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Um, hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new video, and as always, subscribe to the channel because without you subscribers, the channel's basically nothing. And uh, like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.